the double nip and others. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I will show you the different nips from Kaveco. The different nip width. And we'll also take a close look at the premium nips. So you can decide if these nips are worth it for you. These nip units can be bought like this and can be screwed into most Kaweco fountain pens. Like here with the DR2. One of the biggest exemptions is this board. Here the nips are press fitted. The smallest nip width that Kaweco has in its range is the EF nip. This means extra fine. It writes quite well but has some feedback, but it does not scratch. Then comes the F nib, so it's a fine nib. The difference from the EF nib is minimal, both in the stroke width, the real nib width and the behavior on the paper. The medium nib, here in a gold colored version. The difference is more noticeable here. The feedback of the nib is also less although there are still some. By the way, the nibs are also available in a black version. Let's move on to the broad nib. The difference to the medium nib is not very big, but visible. The nib writes well, like all the nibs before, but it is much smoother than the extra fine nib, for example. Kaweco also has a double B nib, so an extra wide nib. It writes quite smoothly, as you would expect. Here the most visible line variance is also achievable with pressure. Let's move on to one of the nibs that is no longer quite normal, even though it can also be found in the normal range. The 1.1 nib has no tip. It is therefore a step nib. It requires the exact positioning of the nib. But in normal use it already allows a changing stroke width. Now we come to the special twin nib. It no longer bears the Kaweco logo, but it is marketed directly by Kaweco. The twin nib from Bock simultaneously draws two strokes. One thicker and one thinner. And has quite an interesting shape. Oh yes, the nibs shown here are the small nibs from Kaweco. Because they are also large nibs, such as in the Supra. The difference in the size of the nib can be clearly seen in the comparison. But let's take a look at the premium nibs that have been available for some time, in direct comparison with the normal nibs. Are those nibs worth it? After all, they are not cheap. They have a clearly different embossing, by the way and are clearly marked as premium. Gold and silver premium nibs are available, but only in nib thickness M. Let's take a look at the writing comparison. Here I also use a normal black medium nib, which writes with a little more feedback, but this can subside over time. Two points stand out in the comparison. They are subtle. But noticeable. The premium nib writes more smoothly than both normal nibs. And when the nib is pushed, as it is here during the upstroke, the nib is much smoother than with the normal feedback. Most rarely push the nib, but especially with left-handed people, depending on how you write, this is different.
The nips are embossed differently, but also the tip is different. Here, viewed from the side, you can see clear differences. The front end of the tip is not as gently sloping as a normal nip. This seems to make a difference. I have not found any other visible differences. And there are still the real calligraphy nips. For example, in this set, with various grip sections and a cap to seal the nip loaded with an ink cartridge. These are all stub nips, so they have hard edges and no rounded tip. And in here we have the nip thickness of 1.1. Then there's the 1.5 and then there's a 1.9 and there's a 2.3. Last but not least, Caveco offers digital inserts. With the disc or the pad, you can convert your fountain pen into a digital input device. Of course, you won't be able to write on paper anymore. I hope you enjoyed this review and found your nip. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. That makes me and the YouTube algorithm happy. See you next time.